Good morning, everybody. So today is Sunday. We just got a call that Miss Lexi Lou has delivering her puppy. So we're headed over to get some footage and get to see those babies that everybody's been anticipating for the last two years. So I guess she's already had four of them. So we had a few things to do this morning before we could leave the house. So we're gonna try to catch some of the bursts of those last ones. Um, stay tuned. So we made it to Lexi's house and she has how many already? Five. Five puppies. When did she start having them? She had puppy number one at around 8.30 this morning. It's one o'clock now. She's doing really good for timing. Um, anyone who's actually well puppies knows it takes forever know, yeah sometimes 24 hours if you're lucky that's ebby yeah but she's been she has taken one whelping pause she's kind of in the middle of another one where they just kind of relax and get the puppies going in position and getting ready to have the next one just kind of snoozing how frequently is she having them Probably she got when, a whole she chart. Gets, when she gets going, they're about every 30 minutes. Oh, wow. In between pauses, there could be. Oh, my know, gosh. Look at that little face an back hour there. hour pause or two hour pause. Oh, that's about normal, though. Yeah. How are you doing, Lexi Lou? She is eating and drinking. A lot of mamas in labor refuse to eat. Lexi's definitely not one of them. <laughs> She's probably okay. wondering if I brought her donuts. Yeah, probably. I didn't bring you any donuts, Lex. I'm sorry. Can we sneak peek and see what you got so far? Okay. So. Can you show the oh my gosh, that's a little fun. The black face. This is a boy. Like Grandma Eleanor. Yeah, Lexi's mom. A little boy. Isn't he cute? I know. I thought he was black coming He's out. He's so cute. And then I saw that the, little the fawn mask. on him. Yeah. He said, Mom. Oh, you can, I know. And their puppies are all doing great. They all have latched on right after they were born. So he was the first one? He was the second one. Oh. Here's her other little cadoots. So, so far we have him, the fawn with the black masks. We have two blacks. And then two fawn merrells. What sex are the black ones? Uh, a boy and oh. a girl. The same with the fawn merrells. Oh, that's awesome. She's getting different genders then. Yeah. That's always nice. Oh, that's a little cutie. Look at that little face. Yeah, he was the last one to be born. He should have been an hour here. ago. Oh. I can't believe how tiny they look compared to Eva's, Eva's <laughs> three week old, four weeks now. Just amazing how fast they grow. Yeah. There you go. She said, I'm going to need that kid back. Aww. Is she a little girl? Yeah. <laughs> the pink looks good on her. Look at those little peach toes. She said, yep, that one." She doesn't my... have a tip tail, though. I think the boy does, the black boy. She's getting ready to deliver another one. She's feeling something down there. She is. A lot of the time when she goes back there, you can tell she's starting to work something out. But when she goes to actually push him out, she'll fully lay down. And She's pushing, pushing right now. Just in time for number six, Lex. She said, I'm tired. Yeah. Aren't they beautiful? Look at those little rainbows. Something's coming down the pike. Puppy number six, get ready to enter the world. Good girl. Are they the best little chickens to eat? They're cute. Such cute babies. Tired, Mama. <coughs> so we got our gear all ready for when this puppy pops out. We got a blanket, 
our nose sucker and some scissors. Just kind of things you need for a natural labor. You'll start to see a bulge like right below her tail too before it surfaces. Yeah, but you can tell when Lexi's pushing too because her tail will just lift up. She's got to stop and take care of the five little munchkins here. But she did take about three hour break. Yeah. And now she's back to it. She got up, went potty. I think that baby got things moving around a little bit for her. Plus she felt a little rested. She's had a lot of bowls of milk, a little vanilla ice cream. And I think this is her going into her second horn too. So dogs have two horns where the puppies will be. I'm pretty sure all these little babies were in one horn. So she's taking a break and then the next horn will go. And that's pretty typical, I find, of our labors at home. I've had Ebby take like six-hour breaks, but she's also had litters of 12, and that's a lot. Yeah. And well, like, seems, seems to be a fast whelper, though. Yeah. And like, some people get all nervous and pop them in the car and take them to the vet, but or try to get them up and move them around. But the best thing you could do is let them take a break. So they, I mean, think about it when you're in labor. Pushing out. Pushing out a child, you just want to take a break in between, and that's what dogs are the same way. Like, she's popped out five, probably within an hour, under an hour each. Some of them a half hour. Yeah, it was about four hours between all five puppies. And that's really good for whelping, yeah. I think. Dear old dad checking on his Lexi Lou. But you can see she'll push a little bit and then kind of give it a second and then she'll start up again. I just wanted to give everybody a heads up that Lexi is going to be whelping a puppy. Um, it is very graphic and we did have a situation that was a little bit more graphic than we thought So I just want to give you forewarning and you can fast forward a few minutes if you don't want to see it oh, girl. That's a Come big baby on, push. Here we go. Um, Jesus. Hold on, Lulu. There's something wrong. It's just wrapped really. I've actually seen one of those before. Just pull it off from her. Get her breathing. Didn't you have it in your hand? Yeah, I did. It's got to be in the blankets, son. Here. Yeah, let Mama whelp her. So. Yeah, we just had our first time weird placenta wrapped around her, and I think there is a name for it. I'll have to look it up, but I've actually never seen it. But it just shows you every time you whelp, you'll find something new. Obviously, you can tell I've never seen it. Yeah. yeah. So this little girl, she's gasping, but we're working on her. This is part of bre birthing at home. Um, you know, <clears throat> you get them going. Go, Mama. Come on, little lady. She was born alive. I think you're just going to have to work on her yeah. a little bit. But let's take a look at... Mama's working on her. You want to clean her up? A little bit of movement. She did come out squawking, so that's a good sign.
We've worked on her for a few minutes and we did hear her cry. So I think we're coming out of the woods. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> But she had a weird, I'll have to research what the name is and put it on here. It's almost like a double um, placenta. placenta. It was very thick. Thick and it's wrapped around them. And yeah. the only thing hanging it out was her head. And we think that she took on like the green water and even some of the blood that was in there because that was coming out of her nose. But we got her up and crying. So that's a good sign. And mom's, we're gonna let mom clean her off a little bit. Oh, she precious. It's a boy. A little boy. Here, you want to clean? Can you do the face? No. But you can tell even the umbilical cord is a little green. Yeah, she was in green fluid. Well, we just got Lexi up and went to the bathroom. And we noticed some green fluid coming out. But that's normal once they've had puppies. But I have a feeling that this little uh, lady uh, took some in. The boy. Oh, this little boy, sorry. And now, see, it's clear coming out, and she's crying. So if you can get them crying and clear out those lungs, um, they normally sound raspy. And look at, she's already, like, she's she's crying normally, and that's a good sign. So we're making progress with this baby. Hello. So, yeah, this baby, Kayla's like, oh, my God. But look, we got her crying. I thought the baby was deformed. I knew it wasn't. I've seen that before. It's, it's that, so that placenta was literally wrapped around from her neck down. And you it just got to peel like it back. It, it looked it's like literally she had Thick fur. flesh. It looked like she, her fur went around her whole body. Yeah. I've actually never whelped one, but I have heard of that. It's interesting, and I mean, you could whelp a lot of litters, but every litter you learn something new. And look at she's up, he's up and crying. And that's what you want to hear. He doesn't sound as raspy as when he was first delivered. And I think mom's working on number seven. Yeah, you can see he's got good color in his tongue now, too. Yeah. Whereas when he was born, it was white. Yeah, and his little feet and nose is nice and pink. Oh, he's beautiful. Huh, mummy. Yes. We saved him. So if she probably would have had him on her own, that puppy wouldn't have survived. I don't think so. Because we literally had to peel that off from him. And work on him for a good And work on minutes. him. You basically resuscitate him is what you're doing because he did come out breathing, so that's a good sign. So we're still just clearing his nose. He still sounds a little raspy and that will that will that will subside the more he cries and, and opens up his lungs. Good job, Mama Lex. She's very concerned. Yeah. Yes, yeah, your mommy's helping him here. Okay, sweetheart. See you, baby. And number seven's here before we know it. Maybe it wasn't a nose I saw. Oh, it's a butt. <laughs> oh, yeah, this one's already moving now. <laughs> Good girl, Mama. Getting right in there. See, this one was born in the sack, so there really isn't as, as much fluid. In his mouth, or his yeah. lungs were where this little guy didn't have a sack, so he's swallowing all that stuff. But he seems to be doing good now. They almost look like twins. <laughs> it's funny, because all these Merrells are the smaller ones. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, he's a small little head. Yeah. I would have thought that the um, would be um, the bigger ones because I the horn, but who knows? Maybe the bigger ones already came out. But that guy just came out. 
maybe 10 minutes ago, if that. It's, yeah, we just got clean, cleaned up the other one about three minutes, finally stopped working on them, and then this little bugger's out. Which if you've never whelped a dog at home, that's pretty fast. That's really fast. Yeah. <laughs> You know, it's a little girl. Oh, too cute. She says, wait a minute. Hi everybody, today is Black Friday and like I said, we were gonna come over and check on the little babies. So here we are at Lexi's house in... Hi everyone, so as you can see, all these babies are pretty active. They're, they'll be a week old on Sunday. They've already grown since I've seen them be born. Yeah, they definitely oh have. <laughs> Look at this little guy. Oh, he's got a cool looking spawn in his mouth. Yeah. Those are the bigger ones that have collars. Look at that little face. Oh, he's cute. Yeah. Can't wait to see what they'll look like. It's actually funny because for the fawn Merrills, there's two boys and two girls. Two of them seem more like Brindle Merrills. One boy, one girl. And then two seem like fawn Merrills. One boy, and then one girl. Yeah, it is hard to tell because... I can tell. Oh, she's part. got. Oh, she's cool too. She's got a black ear and yeah. a different one. I'm looking at over here. I noticed that when she was born. So this one, I was just thinking. Oh, she's, she's got a black ear and a Merrill ear on the other side. And then she's got a brindle patch, right on her face. Oh, that's Athena, right? Yeah. This yeah. is the brindle Merrill boy because you can see that brindle patch on his ear. Oh, he's got a cool looking ear too. He has a cool nose. And he's too. got a Merrill a Merrill ear um, on the other side. His nose kind of has the two stripes down it. That's Dexter. I know that. I don't remember what anybody else's name is because you haven't really posted them on that thing yet. No. So somebody obviously already got their fill. Are you done with that kid? Oh, that's Hurley, the daddy you can hear. I was just paying attention to him and now he knows I'm in here so he's want me back out to pet him. <laughs> Lexi's doing good. This is the other fawn Merrill girl. Oh, she's got a nice patch on her belly. Oh, it actually she... goes around her whole body. Oh, really? Yeah. So as just like Eva's puppies, they look like this in the beginning. And as they get older, you really be able to tell. Like, cause I thought a couple of mine were Merrill's cause normally that's what Eva kicks off, but they ended up just being fawn Merrells, not brindle Merrells. Yeah. You can see on her little feet, though, it's definitely Merrell. You can see those, you know, the Merrell coloring and the Oh, yeah, spots. that's exactly how Eva's are. Well, it wouldn't be a surprise because Hurley's the father to both of the litters that we currently have. So. And the girls definitely carry similar colors. Yeah, the they do. Yeah, because Lexi comes from a fa uh, fawn. Ellie the brat, black mask and Eva. Oh, right here. <laughs> it's amazing Harley. how. Oh, she has a name, Harley. Yeah. It's amazing yeah. how much she will lighten up. She will actually look like Eleanor. She got a little tongue out. But yeah, we're still getting up every her ears. couple of hours with Mama Lexi just to feed her, let her out, you know, give her some. I'd say water, but she still only really wants milk. Um. Well, she knows you're willing to do it, so why not? Yeah, and have, she doesn't want to leave the kids when she eats, so I have to bring the food to uh, her and hold it for her. Oh my god, that's um, how Ellie was, too. Yeah, Look she's at them. nursing nine kids, though, Crazy. so... Yeah, you want to give her whatever she's willing to eat? Yeah. Somebody's tired over here. Does she have a name yet? Pink girl? I, they did text me it, I think. I have to finish writing Well, as they get now. older, you'll yeah. get more familiar with the names. I mean, I, me I remember calling one semen, and it's Seamus, so <laughs> I'm just glad the family didn't say anything. But, I mean, I only have five, but I mean, I could have 12 and still remember all their names. Yeah. I won't remember the owner's names for sure. There's our one Merrill full Yeah, full it's Merrill. funny because he was 
picked right off the bat and even had some people from the girls list inquiring about them. Sure. The one odd man out they always yeah, want. Yeah, everybody always wants it. Yeah. I think the uh, fawn males are really pretty too. I mean, they won't look like... Uh, yeah, they'll be all like fawn and just have Meryl on their mask and their ears. I'm curious to see how these guys turn out, though. These are the brindle Merrells. Yeah, I'm trying to see if There's, I can see brindling on them. You can. You oh, can she has it on her leg. Yeah, she does have it on her leg. Or his leg. Yeah. Oh, no, this is the girl. Oh, oh that's oh, Athena. Isn't... Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't see her. That's how you can tell this is Athena, because of her... Her face. She's got a cool-looking face. face. Yeah. And that's a good thing about uh, any kind of Merrill Harlequin. None, no two ever look identical. Their patches yeah. are always different. So even though they, none of them really have their collars on, I can tell them all apart. Yeah, they all look quite different. Yeah. And being a one black girl, one black boy, one fawn boy, one fawn girl makes it easier too. Yeah, she had a really good um, variation of variety. Yeah, yeah, and gender. Gender. yeah. For the colors. She pretty much had one of each color for each gender. <laughs> so they're almost a week old. Doing good. Look at him. Someone underneath him, but he's holding on for yeah. dear life. He was the last one born. That was the last one? Yeah. yeah. The Merrill I didn't voice. see that when I ended up leaving. So I saw basically a bunch of Merrills be born when I was here. Yeah. The fawn Merrells. Isn't that funny? Because last time she had what? One or two fawn Merrells? She Merils? had two fawn Merrells and one normal Merrell. Yeah. And one fawn. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Jade was her one. <laughs> what are you doing? Got her butt up in the air. Yeah, Lexi was looking her. Yeah, but I was excited to see that she had a fawn Merrell girl. It looks just like Ellie. Yeah. Lexi's mama. Fawn with a black mask. Yeah. yeah. That other one's snuggling under your foot. Yeah. Where are you going, Lady Jane? Actually, I don't know if that's a girl or a boy. That's Athena. Oh, is it? I keep... I didn't see the other side <laughs> of her face. I keep... She is she, a tiny swan, yeah, right? Yeah, she looks pretty big. She must have just eaten. Somebody's got a white tip tail. So does she, and so does the black boy. So, normally when they have a white tip tail, that means they carry mantle. That's what I think. Yeah. All Evas have the white tip tail. Um, Hurley has produced mantles with other girls too, just not. You mean like see. like Eva? Yeah. <laughs> those mantles and are Callie his. And Callie produced some pretty mantles. Oh yeah, they did. Litter. They had some. Those are the only ones that we've had blue mantles with. But a lilac, lilac mantles. Yeah, and the lilac. Yeah, he was gorgeous. We never really get updates on him, which I wish we would. We'd like to get updates of our old. Our puppies just to see how they're doing and stuff. Some people do keep in contact and other people just aren't big on the internet and don't. Or they'll send me a picture here and there, which is kind of nice too. But, um, yeah, him and Nala won't produce mantles because Nala, I don't believe, produces mantles. Nala? She yeah. should. She should. We'll see, I guess. I Actually, mean... she does produce mantles. Francesca's a mantle. <laughs> I don't know. I get too I was many say, dogs. Carly's her dad. She should. <laughs> yeah. So they may have blue mantles. Wouldn't that be cool? So we're gonna breed her with Hurley also, just to see what they kick off. Or maybe some Merrill mantles. Yeah. I don't think you've had any since Farley and Zeklin. Uh. I mean, you had Zeus and. Jeannie. No, Jeannie. Actually, I got a picture of her. Yeah. I Isn't saw she that. beautiful? Yeah. Oh my goodness. I couldn't she was when she was a puppy. She, she looks was... just like Eva, but a mantle. Yeah. She's really pretty, and that was the only one she's they've ever produced. That also was uh, Hurley's, Hurley's baby. Lexi's pretty happy here. She loves being a mom. Yeah, I normally have to put the puppies in the basket before she will get up to go potty. <laughs> And then she's got to, she'll sit down, I got to put all the kids on whatever side we're going to be nursing on, and then she'll lay down. Isn't she cute? I can't really see him at all. He's hiding the whole time. Normally he's passed out because he's already gotten his fill. <laughs> Look how big he is. Yeah, he's one of the bigger ones. He, I, he's definitely the biggest one right now. <laughs> 
I think he was at birth. Yeah, I think um, you did say that he was the biggest one at birth. Was he the yeah, he one was, of the first ones born? He was the fourth one born out of one pound fourteen ounces. Yeah. And he hasn't stopped slowing down ever since. So just to show you a size reference, <laughs> here's Athena. I think she's the smallest right now. Here's Dexter. Yeah, it's the same he's thing. definitely the biggest. Oh yeah. It'd but I mean, the funny thing is, is she's a lot more active than he is. I always just see him being a lazy <laughs> boy. <laughs> That's usually how the fattest ones are. They're kind of laid lazy. back, lazy. Yeah. yeah, you can see how big he is compared to her. She's a peanut. Yeah. The Meryl boy is actually caught up really nicely. The little peanuts remind me of Ebby's little two split-faced peanuts that were born. Cora and what was the other one's name? Hmm. I don't remember. Not at this moment. So here's the update for the puppies. They will be one week old on Sunday. They're doing all doing good. They do all have homes. Um, we did up, update our website of who's going next. We actually thought it was Ebby, but turned out to be Nala. So, I mean, just because they're due for that heat doesn't mean they go in when they're anticipated to. Yeah, somebody's proof of that sitting right here. <laughs> <laughs> she goes in when she wants. Yeah. But you may have one more litter with her. Yeah, it all just depends on kind of timing and how things are going here at my house. Yeah, because you have your own baby due. Yeah, I mean, I'd love to have another litter from Lexi. I know my fiance wants to have a Hurley Lexi puppy. Do you think? She's yeah, 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 she is. Well, they're both great temperaments, too. Yeah, they are. They're Hurley, really all babies. Hurley's puppies are really happy, happy, happy. I mean, Magnolia is his puppy that we kept and she's if anything she's oh my gosh overwhelming Curly, but twice <laughs> the size. yeah she's uh, bigger than her dad but she's got his personality for sure and eva's a love bug too but eva doesn't love just anybody she's got to know you to love you we're hurley really will love any he likes yeah, anybody back before when we were still doing kind of not meet and greets but allowing people in our houses pre-covid some of you probably do remember Hurley and how excited he was to see you. <laughs> first time meeting you. Yeah. He ain't ever met a stranger. I know he was like that with the Captain Jack's family. Oh, yeah. The yeah, we don't. And we do have mantle. people wanting to come and visit. And we haven't done. We don't do visits anymore. No, just um, the COVID. COVID. Just... We've had puppies get uh, viruses and lose hair. And that's a disaster to try to tell the the new owners, like Piku was the one that it happened to, and uh, telling her mom, like, hey, huh? your puppy's hairless. Your baby's hairless. But thank God, by eight weeks, it all had grew back. But we're pretty honest. If something goes wrong, we do let the families know. I mean, that's why we do so many videos and live videos and yeah. pictures. So you feel like you are seeing your puppies grow. I know before I've gotten puppies and I hardly ever got a photo and I always felt like I was bugging them to get a picture or I wanted you just- You just kind of felt like you were getting gypped. Yeah, I, or I felt like, oh, I'd love to see a live video with them with their other puppies or siblings, not just posed pictures. Yeah. Posed pictures are great, but I'd rather see them in their own natural little thing, whether, you know, they're playing or just sleeping, but. That's just me, I guess. So that's what we do. And that's why we don't allow visitors anymore. So but, um, so for these puppies, they will be eight weeks old, January 16th. We're hoping to get them to the vets on Martin Luther King Day, if our vets are open. I tried calling today. They must not be open today. But um, we're going to try to get everybody to their homes, <laughs> hopefully that day. Just so, you know, if you need to take a three-day weekend, I know a lot of people will have and that the, day off. Yeah, New Hampshire, they're real strict about eight weeks. If they're born on a Monday, they can't come in until eight weeks Yeah, old. so these guys are born on a Sunday. They turn eight weeks on a Sunday. Our vets aren't open Sundays, so we'll have to wait until the Monday to go because they won't give them early shots. Not in New Hampshire. 
And we don't do our own shots. No, nope. we're not professionals for that. So, um, Plus they check them out by yeah. a certified vet. And that's, you know, I feel like if you're paying for a quality puppy, the least I can do is pay for quality care, vet care yeah. for shots and stuff. So I feel like I don't want to scrimp on doing shots myself when I can have somebody more than capable of checking them out. Let me know. Yep, they're good to go. It gives us a peace of mind. Plus they get a state health certificate. So a licensed vet has to do that. So we love our vet. Uh, we go there for our, you know, any regular things like puppy shots, just um, day to day care for our our big guys. If any puppies get sick, yep. Have to take like when in. Piku lost her hair, we had to bring her in. Um, she was one of our blacks with white uh, t t um, white markings. Sorry, Ellian. Yeah, Farley. I think Ellie and Farley's her father. So she's a big girl and she lives in Massachusetts on a bed and breakfast. So I love to see updates about her. Um, but we love to see updates all about our own dogs. So if you ever have a devoted Danes dog, drop us a line. Let us know how they're doing. And uh, it makes our day. I think that's the most rewarding for me is just to see how they're doing. Yeah, see them as they're older. Yeah, and then we have a lot of them that um, single people will get, and then, um, oh, they have a new baby or something, and then, you know, they show us pictures on how they are with their yeah. new human siblings. Like, like uh, Lexi's sister, Delilah, and yep. she's got a couple kids. I think Watson does Watson too, does, yeah. yeah. So I think we love that. Litter, litter mates. Yeah, and like Lexi, when she came here too, there was no little Georgia around. No, I and didn't now. have any kids. I got Lexi. Uh, pretty young. Huh. And now Lexi will be due to have a new human baby to take care of in a few months. Yeah. She takes her role very seriously. Yeah. Hurley does too. <laughs> he likes to share toys. Yeah. Callie's just there to pretty much eat her snacks and <laughs> give her a kiss. Slap a kiss on the kid, send her on her way. Yeah. But Georgia's really well-rounded, though. Even when she's at our house with nine or five dogs roaming, she just plows through them. Yeah, they don't and, they don't phase her in a bit. Yeah, anybody with Danes and kids should definitely teach them, you know, you're not allowed to sit on your puppy. They're not horses. You shouldn't be riding them. Yeah, no pulling because faces. Because that's how your kids get bitten. Yeah. Honestly. And they could be the best dog and you could be sleeping and the dog could get startled or the dog could have an ear infection and you don't really know. So that's why, I mean, I know Georgia, you do that with Georgia. She's not yeah. allowed to do certain things with the doggies and she's not even, she's only a year old. Yeah. And she knows, you know, she has to be gentle with them. She's not allowed to sit on them. She's not allowed to pull their ears and that's just common courtesy for them too. They don't want to be sat on. They don't want their ears to be pulled. Yeah, people no matter will, how good of a dog they are. Yeah, because you know the dog bites, then the dog's gonna pay the ultimate price with its life. While it was your own fault for not training your child properly. Yeah. Somebody's head stuck. Mr. Man, normally oh, I find geez. him bottled off by himself because he must get hot. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he actually fills out his collar pretty well too. Yeah, he, I'm actually gonna have to loosen it. That's what I was days. just thinking. Yeah, he's the only one. It's going to need it loosened. Because <laughs> this fawn boy was the second biggest, and he's still got plenty of room. Well, as these yeah. little peanuts don't fit into them. Yeah. yeah. Well, but anytime you have big numbers, it's kind of, they don't, they're smaller puppies, so. But her puppies are all healthy and doing good. Um, where's number, the one that we had the weird, um, that's him? The umbilical cord. Green yeah. boy, right? This is the green collared boy. Did you look into that at all? I did. I, it will be on this. They've already had, well, probably have seen it because I did find it. It's basically a band, a placenta band is what it's called. And I did some research and I posted a picture of it and I did um, explain it. Yeah, it honestly didn't even look like a placenta. It looked uh, like no. it was his fur. It honestly. like cocoons him as I like. Yeah as they get bigger all right so we'll stop blabbing and let you guys enjoy this and um that's it for the update for these puppies 
So I just got back from Lexi's visit and the baby's visit and I just want to give you a couple updates before I finish up this video. So the updates are Eva's puppies are doing good. Um, Eva's puppies go home December 20th. They have their vet appointment in the morning and they will be ready to go home in the afternoon. So um, that's just a little reminder for those five families. Um, I did tell them all, but, um, and then Lexi, we haven't gotten her, uh, date yet for her puppies, but, um, Kayla's working on it. So all the puppies are doing good. All the puppies are reserved. Um, a lot of people have contacted us since all our puppies are reserved and wanted to know how to get on our list. So we basically work off our waiting list. How we work is... We always have a waiting list going, and then when the puppies are born, we go down our waiting list, and um, people pick their puppies then. Um, so most of our puppies go to family uh, pets only, and they're li looking for a specific color or just to have a Great Dane. Um, we do sell to some breeders, not very many, actually not very many at all. Um, so... All our information is also on our website at www.devotedanes.webs.com. Um, I did go, like I said in one of my videos, I did go and try to fill in who was going to be bred next. And it would have been Ebby, but Ebby decided she's not ready. So it actually, Nala, Nala's in heat. So she will be bred with Hurley sometime next week. Um, they have to be in heat for a little bit um, before you breed them. So... You have to wait to basically they ovulate. But we're going to uh, do Eva with Hurley this time and see what we end up with. That's Fiona planking down on the floor because the girls are on the couch. So we will be starting a waiting list for that litter um, also. So if you want to be on that list, you need to contact us probably through a message through our Facebook page. It really works the best. And... Um, and then what we do is we kind of screen people to find out what they're looking for, what kind of environment our puppies are going to, and so on and so on. So if you're interested, get in touch with us. Or if you just like to, you know, cue into our videos to see puppies and see what's going on with our Danes, we like that too. So if you're new here, welcome. If you're not, thanks for tuning back in. Um, if you are new, subscribe to our channel and you'll see a lot of uh, videos about Great Dane puppies and then um, our mini farm that we have here. I have been working on like videos about what's going on uh, with the farm and I'll be um, updating those, finishing those and posting them eventually. But um, this video is pretty much about Lexi. So I hope that gives everybody an update on what we're doing here. Um, and you guys, I hope y'all had a good Thanksgiving. We did here and we'll see you next week. Bye.